Hey everyone, this is NS Steampunk. I'm over in Fredericktown, Ohio with my YouTuber friend, uh, Kokosing Valley Model Railroader. Say hi, Garrett. Morning. <laughs> yeah, I could say morning, could say afternoon. Uh, we are here alongside the bike path, which was once part of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Lake Erie Division. Um, this is a track that once ran north towards Williard and on towards Sandusky. What we're looking at here is one of the elevators that was located at um, adjacent to the railroad right-of-way. Um, the first depot and elevator was built in 1868 with the second depot being made entirely of wood in 1890. Um, a little farther down the track here, or what used to be a railroad right-of-way, now considered a bike path, uh, there was a company called Sun Glow Industries. In April 1929 was bought out by FBZ Manufacturing and they continued to operate through the through the depression until they closed in 1950. Now south of town was a place called Knox Siding located at mile post 85 and this was a siding that was located alongside the passing main line. There was no water station a lot of times a lot of freight trains would have to wait in the hole for a long time for trains coming north and south. The last steam engine that served this area to switch Fredericktown was Baltimore and Ohio Q3 Baldwin Mikado steam locomotive number 389 built in 1918 and it last served this area as the last steam engine and winter of 1959. The last passenger train which was diesel powered was train 246 which ran on June 30th 1961. Um, the rails, as you can see, are gone. There's no more track, although a little bit actually remains right here. You'll notice this little lip in the road here in the concrete. There's a little bit of rail that's left over. So originally, this would have been the passing siding for the station. There were actually two, two sidings with the mill over here on this end of the lay on the railroad. So the two sidings were over here. They used to do feed, and they had a coal pile where they would sell the coal from the mill side. The two tracks, the two tracks coming off there, they would have been a switch down there, and then they would have had a freight siding on the other end of town. Yep. As you can see, there is some leftover rail in place. It's never been removed. It's still in place. Siding uh, two, and then siding one is the farthest one closest to the mill, which all the grain silos, whatever went into the hopper cars, are still in place. Even the original ones would have been loading up all the cars. These were put in the later 2000s. These concrete ones were put in later. So these are fairly newer parts. And then what they are doing with this building now, they're kind of turning it into an escape room slash Halloween house. Haunted house, so to speak. So you could, you could figure out where the old rails would have gone through this track here, because they actually built it right into the concrete ground. So they used to have hoppers running through this line all the way down to the other end. Yep. So, where the parking lot where the feed mill is, that used to be the old Baltimore Ohio Railroad Hotel. So this was all part of all the same line going south and mm -hmm. north. Now this line, if you kept going on it, you would hit Cedar Point. That was the end of the line. But yeah, literally, that's where the coal trains would take the coal from down the, the down the mine south from here all the way up north, and all that coal would be used to generate electricity and as much as your freight car loads that would come in north or south. So in story goes what I've heard with this mill they used to put about five to ten hopper cars in this spot and they used to fill up feed all the time. Mostly corn, soybeans and then down the road we used to have the old FRD plant which was a chemical factory. It did a lot of uh, chemicals for pesticides and they had a siding over there and we had a freight siding down on the other end here. So there were a lot of different sections of line where they were used as uh, industrial. 2009 and 2010, they ripped up the rails, so that was the last time we saw a train come from this area in this section of line here. Yep. The only two, what was it, the Willard? The Willard line is still in place, and then you got the one that's part of the Ohio Central down in Mount Vernon. Yeah, that's all that's left. And speaking of memories, um, if anybody is kind of concerned about the old 1890 depot, it is now located in. West Lafayette, Ohio, as today's unusual junction shops, also used for a place for prom and wedding photos. Which is very excellent for anybody who wants to do stuff like that over there. And of course, they've got some train equipment. Quite a bit. Well, that's all we have for this video for now. Please stay tuned for more railroad footage, great train action, even some rail history. 
This is Anna Steampunk and Kokosing Valley Mall Railroad. We're signing out. We'll see you next time. All right, Tower 93 over and out. Thank